Hi, everybody. Thank you guys for joining in. Those who have been a part of our UNT Recovery Conference the last couple of days, we are streaming live. And I just snagged up Mr. Joe Powell. And so I wanted to introduce him to you guys, those of you who may not know him, and let him tell you a little bit about himself and about what he's a part of and how peer support is such a huge part of recovery. So if you happen to be watching back on replay, type replay in the comments and let us know that you were here. We would love to know that you were watching back. And if you have any questions about peer recovery, feel free to drop that in the comments as we are chatting here over the next couple of minutes. And we would be glad to have Joe field those questions for you and answer any questions you may have about that. So, Joe, tell us a little bit about yourself and who you are and kind of what your background is. Yes, my name is Joe Powell, and I am a young person in long-term recovery. And what that means is, is that I haven't had a drink of alcohol uh, since October the 8th, 1988, and I haven't used any other opiates or mood altering substances since. <laughs> Uh, January 1973 and it's only because of long-term recovery that I'm able to be a father today and a husband today and a servant leader today and a lifelong learner today and a, and a LCBC today. It's only because of long-term recovery that I'm able to be the president and CEO of APA, the Association of Persons Affected by Addiction in Dallas, Texas for 19 years. Um, and so what that means is APA is a recovery community organization, one of the first in Texas, uh, started in 1998, and we provide peer recovery support services. So when you look at uh, as far as uh, recovery support, and that we know that everybody needs support, right? And APA, we provide informational support, instrumental support, emotional support, you know, educational support. You know, what you name it, all of our services fall under those supports, right? They provide no supports for people. So I am excited to be here as an advocate for recovery. Our job is to promote and spread recovery. That's what we do. Of course, we know that uh, because of people in recovery, I can prevent and hopefully that my children don't have to go through what I went through uh, with addiction because of my recovery. So that way I'll be promote recovery at all levels, including with collegiate recovery, right? So re collegiate recovery hasn't been around, but about Wow, it's been around now, close to 30 years almost, <laughs> right? Uh, and, and uh, of course, Texas started with uh, Texas Tech, and now we got UNT right here in, in Texas. So we are providing collegiate recovery for them. One of the largest recovery uh, programs in the country is UNT, um, and I'm excited to be a part of the, of the conference. Yeah, you would need to take to do it. Okay. So that way, when we get you signed up to go live. Right. We don't have to do it together because... Yeah, no, we got to do it together. <laughs> hey, we're back. Oh, we're back. Right. We're back. <laughs> we had a little technical difficulty That's here. Right. So, uh, but we're back. And I did want to say, if you are in this community of practice here virtually on Facebook with us and you are a peer, if you're a peer support provider, um, you've been supporting others in recovery, we would love for you to type peer in the comments and let us know that you're in this group because we do know we have a variety of people that are part of this community of practice. And uh, how can people... People get in touch with APA. Yes, I'm glad that you said, asked me that. One is that you can also call me at 214-634-2722. That's 634-APA, A-P-A-A-2722. Or you can email us at www.aparecovery.org. That's A-P-A-A recovery.org. Right? Uh, and it's so great that, uh, to be here with you. Yeah. Thank you so much. <laughs> right. We're going to yeah. actually take an opportunity um, so sometime soon in the next couple of months to let Joe go into a little bit more detail about peer support recovery, some of the things that APA does, some of the ways that he has seen this be instrumental in people's recovery. And so if you're excited about that, give us some thumbs up and some hearts across the screen if you're excited about hearing more about peer support and how you can be involved with that. And we'll get him signed up to get on live video again with you guys. That's so. right. That's right. And don't forget that this is Recovery Month. September is Recovery Month. We celebrate the recovery, uh, even though every day is a celebration of recovery. But again, September is Recovery Month, and then next month we're doing a big event with UNT. Yes, we have, you want and to that's say right. A bit about that? The North Texas uh, Big Texas Rally for Recovery, right? So, and again, and that's UNT, and there's a football game going on that day. It's a collegiate recovery, so it's collegiate recovery here at UNT, and again versus. Uh, 
UTSA, which yes, is University okay. of Texas San Antonio, and they have a collegiate recovery program. Right. They're bringing theirs up. But that morning, we're going to have speakers that morning, and we're going to have, um, of course, some great people to, to be there. We hope that everybody comes out for the rally. Yes. We're going to also walk across the bridge and do a tailgate. We have the first recovery tailgate party. So you need to be a part of the first recovery tailgate party. Right? That is and right. That's right. Very, uh, very important. So we hope that you uh, stand up and be an advocate for recovery and be there with us on October the 14th. That's right. right. I believe it's at noon in the UNT mall. Right. Yep. So if you plan to be at the rally, type rally in the comments. And even if you aren't able to be in person, we would invite you to share this information with your network of people and let them know about the UNT recovery rally so that others can come mm -hmm. and stand in support of those who are in recovery. So thank you so much for joining us. Thank you for doing a little impromptu live video. And we look forward to hearing more from you soon. Thank you. Okay, great. See you guys soon.